So I was talking to this girl at school, and she was saying the normal stupid things about English orthography. You know, get rid of C, get rid of X, all the classics. I started pushing back on some of the things she said, you know, as my civic duty, and she proceeded to give the worst take on orthography I have ever heard. Why don't we all, everyone, every language, everywhere, just write with the IPA? The IPA, or International Phonetic Alphabet, created by the IPA, or International Phonetic Association, is a set of characters, mostly based on the Latin alphabet, meant to create an interlingual method of transcribing any sound. Like, in English, the letter W makes a W sound, a labiovelar approximant, whereas in German, this letter makes a V sound, a voiced labiodental fricative. But in the IPA, these sounds are represented consistently. Another example would be the letter J, which represents a voiced postalveolar affricate in English, but a palatal approximant in German. Basically, the IPA is a way for linguists, and linguistics nerds, to figure out how to say a word without having to know the ins and outs of a language's orthography or script system. It's this bit on a Wikipedia article. So then, if everyone just used the IPA, it would be so much easier, right? We'd just have to learn this one script system, and then we can read anything in the world. Look, as much as it pains me to admit this, not everyone in the world loves linguistics. For most people, having to write things with all these weird diacritic markings on words just because some languages on the other side of the world they'll never speak a word of are already using that letter for a different sound is just a waste of time. This isn't what the IPA is for. It's not an actual functional writing system. It's better to think of it as a key. Like here, this Danish dictionary doesn't even use the IPA transcriptions because they're clunky and not intuitive or particularly useful for Danish speakers, but they have a key using the IPA to tell people how the transcription they're using works. And there's another problem with dialects. People with different dialects say certain words differently because they say certain sounds differently. And different sounds now means different symbols in the orthography. So we have two choices. Either each dialect community within the set of speakers of a language has to use a unique orthography, meaning that these are potentially illegible to outsiders who are used to a different set of characters. Or we choose one dialect as the standard, which is what the orthography is based on. Which, aside from the problems involved with a standard dialect, negates what was even remotely useful about the writing system in the first place. We are no longer writing things the way they are said. If you want to be really technical, you'd also have to analyse your own phonetics every time you wanted to write anything. You have a lisp? You better not be writing your words like everyone else then, Timmy. Get used to using the extension to the IPA for disordered speech. And good luck reading everyone's handwriting. I sure hope your velarized L's, lateral fricatives, and T's are separate and legible. Also, I know people who would like to write everything in the IPA aren't the kinds of people to care about aesthetics, but the IPA is ugly as f Imagine wanting to replace the Arabic script with this affront to my eyes. And another thing, let's not forget that the IPA was made by a collection of British and French linguists, and the less Western European you get, the uglier this transcription starts looking. Yeah. You really want people to write Malayalam like that? Actually, some people would even call the IPA, its history, its modern form, stupid, incompetent, maybe even a little bit racist. Some people. I think I'm getting ahead of myself here, and for now, let's just say, no one ever will, or should, start using the International Phonetic Alphabet as an actual orthography of pretty much any language anywhere.